Hi, this is Eric Lyons, and this is a quick tutorial using Koji to do high-resolution analysis of chloroplast genomes, hopefully to identify characters that may be able to be used in phylogenetic analyses. So for this analysis, begin with organism view. Um, this is Koji's tool to allow you to search for genomes in the system by organism name, and I'm going to type in Zia in order to identify the chloroplast genome from maize. From here, I'm going to go down to Genome Information and click on a link to SynMap, which is Koji's tool for doing whole genome comparisons and generating synthetic dot plots. So by default, um, this will have the chloroplast genome for Zia in uh, both organism search boxes. I want to compare this to a different grass chloroplast genome, so I'm going to click on the description for Poales and automatically search for any organism in the system that matches that, and I can scroll through this list, and I'm going to look for sorghum, which is a close relative of maize. When I find it, I'll select it, and then I'll generate the syntenic dot plot between the two. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on this syntenic dot plot, which will give me a larger view um, of it, and I'm going to approximately click on one of the gene pairs somewhere in the middle of the dot plot. This is going to fire up a tool called GIVO, which is Koji's tool for doing high-resolution sequence analysis, I'm going to try to compare the entire genomes with this tool. So I'm going to type in an arbitrary, um, a large amount of sequence. These genomes are about 150 uh, kilobases or so. So I'm going to search for about 100 kilobases upstream and downstream from the gene pair that I clicked on. Then I'm going to do a, a whole genome or an analysis between the two. So this will do, um, um, uh, this will just analyze those two. These pink regions are, uh, are bars or regions of sequence similarity between the two genomes. And I can see that we have uh, pretty much covered everything. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on an option in the results parameters to say color the matches in the HSPs. And what this will do is it will draw white spots um, for regions that uh, are not identical um, between these regions of sequence similarity. So now when I highlight that one big uh, region of sequence similarity between the two genomes, I'll see these little white spots, which are spots where we have mismatches. And then if I want to get the full um, alignment of these, um, in the information box here, you can click on full annotation. This then will give you the two full sequences, and then down at the bottom um, of these, the actual alignment of them, which is a good way is down the list, and here's the actual alignment. So you can use this to identify your phylogenetic characters. Um, uh, yeah, I think, that, I think that pretty much summarizes this. Hopefully you found that useful, and um, thank you very much for listening.